today's video we are going to understand how to determine the horizontal asymptote so let's understand how can we find out the horizontal asymptote and what is it actually so any y value that makes the function undefined is said to be horizontal asymptote now how can we understand this concept in order to understand this concept first of all understand first of all understand that horizontal asymptote in order to study horizontal asymptote we have to understand about the three cases case 1 let's see it is case 2 and the case 3 so first of all understand that we have to study the three cases of in order to understand about the horizontal asymptote sponsor in case 1 in case 1, you all know that whenever we write the rational function, so rational function, we told you that rational function can f of x can be written as a of x upon b of x. So a of x is a function in the numerator and b of x is a function in the denominator and when they are they are separated with the division sign or in the quotient rule they will they will written in the form of quotient they are said to be rational function collectively now in the case one if the degree of numerator is bigger than the degree of denominator so this is my case one the case two says that if degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator and the third case says what if the degree of numerator is equal to the degree of denominator now I think that everyone understands that what is meant by degree so first if you forgot just understand if i have let's suppose an equation x to the power 5x four plus 3x cube minus x plus 4 for example look at the equation which i wrote on the left hand side of the screen here what is the highest power so the highest power is 4 so that is your degree so that is your degree now there is a word that is termed as leading coefficient so leading coefficient is the coefficient which is written with the highest degree with the which is written in the form of the coefficient of the highest degree so here 4 you said that it is the highest degree so the leading coefficient is 5 so this is what you what you studied before but let's see in the form of horizontal asymptote so the case one says if the degree of numerator is bigger than the degree of denominator let's suppose my 4x cube minus 2x square plus 3 is my equation in the numerator and i have another equation just i wrote randomly 2x square minus 4x plus 1 so first answer me what is the degree of numerator that is 3 right this is the degree highest highest degree is 3 and what is the degree in the denominator that is 2 you can say that this is the 2 now what have you seen that 3 is bigger than the 2 so in such cases if the degree of numerator is bigger than the degree of denominator then it is said to be you will say that there is no horizontal asymptote in such cases there is no horizontal asymptote in such cases now if i just write this equation the same the same equation which i wrote in the start and just flip it like here i am writing 2x square minus 4x plus 5 as in the numerator and writing 4x cube minus 2x squared plus 3 in the denominator so what i have observed 
that in the numerator, the degree is 2. And in the denominator, the degree is 3. So the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator. So always your horizontal asymptote will be found at y equals to 0. So here, if I have this is my axis, so this is my this is my y this is negative y here you have the positive x and here negative x so horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0 it means over here this is the horizontal asymptote now whenever you will uh, draw the graph the graph will not touch the horizontal asymptote from up or down from anywhere it will not touch this axis at 0 now let's see what is my third case saying. So according to my third case, according to my third case, the degree of numerator is equal to the degree of denominator. So for example here, 2x cubed minus 8x plus. Now what have you observed? That here in this case, the degree of the numerator is 3. And the degree of denominator is also 3. It means they are equal. So in such cases, the horizontal asymptote will be determined as the leading coefficient of numerator divided by the leading coefficient of denominator. This is your horizontal asymptote always be denoted as y equals 2. Now, leading coefficient of numerator is what? In our case, in our case, the leading coefficient of is 4. So, y equals to 4 upon and the leading coefficient of the denominator is 2. So, y equals to 4 over 2, that is equals to 2. This is your horizontal asymptote. So, if you want to draw right now over here, so here it is 1 and 2. On the y-axis you have the 2 over here. So here at the 2 we will have the, this kind of horizontal SM. So now the graph will not touch this horizontal line. It will touch the 0. Anywhere it will touch but it will not touch this 2. So this is how we understand and we find out the horizontal SM2. Let's study one by one these cases and understand the concepts by looking at the examples. So let's suppose my first example is 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 over x plus 1. They are asking you to find the horizontal S. This is your question. So what you will do? You will focus what is the highest degree of the numerator? You can see 3, 2, 1 and here no x. It means the degree is 0. So what is the highest degree? 3. Now focus. What is the highest degree of denominator? That is 1. Now the degree of numerator is bigger than the degree of denominator. And we know in such cases we have no horizontal S. That's all. You don't need to write anything. Just write down no horizontal asymptote. Why? If they ask you the reason, you just write degree of numerator is bigger than the degree of denominator. Let's write one more example. What if I have y equals to x plus x squared plus x minus 2 divided by x plus x plus 7. Now, what is in this case? Again, the degree of the numerator, the degree of the numerator is 2, which is bigger than the degree of denominator, that is 1. And again, you have the degree of numerator bigger than the degree of denominator. So, again, in such cases, no horizontal asymptote. And that's all. No need to do anything. So, this was our case 1. Now let's do some exercises from case 2. So according to the case 2, let's see, have a look here on case 2. 
if my question is x cube minus 8x squared plus 3 divided by divided by let's suppose x to the power uh, x to the power 4 minus 7x squared plus 6. So here what you have seen here you can notice that the degree of numerator is 3 and the degree of denominator is 4 and 3 is less than 4. So you can see that degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator. So always the horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0. Just close your eyes and write down y equals to 0. No need to write any other thing if the degree of numerator is bigger than the degree of denominator. Let's solve one more question. So y equals to 4x square minus 2x plus 6 divided by uh, x cube minus 1. So what is the degree of numerator in this case? The degree of numerator is 2 and the degree of denominator is 3. So the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator. So again, your horizontal asymptote, no need to think a lot. Just write at y equals to 0. And we understood how to make the horizontal asymptotes. At 0, you just have to make a dotted, dotted line in order to show us while making the graph proper. Now, whatever you make the graph, for example, the graph is like that. So, come closer, 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 closer to this asymptote, but never ever come to, or never ever touch this zero line. Let's check out how to find out or how to work on the third case of the horizontal asymptotes. So, y equals to 4x square minus 2x plus 3. Here we have, for example, 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. So here what have you noticed that the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of denominator is also 2. So when the degree of numerator is equal to the degree of denominator, our horizontal asymptote will be the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of denominator. So what is the leading coefficient of numerator? This number, the coefficient that is written with x square, which is 4. And here in the denominator, the coefficient of x square is 5. So 4 over 5 is our horizontal SN2. That's all. Now, let's try one more question. One more question. For example, 6x cubed minus 8x over uh, x cubed plus 1. So, again, focus. The degree of numerator is 3. Degree of denominator also 3. So, the horizontal asymptote will be the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by here, no number means with 1. Leading coefficient of denominator. So, your horizontal asymptote x6. Let's try out one more example. So, y equals to x plus 1 over 6x minus 1. So, in the numerator, in the numerator, our degree is 1. And in the denominator, also the degree is 1. So vertical asymptote, so vertical asymptote will be y equals to the leading coefficient of this x is 1 and the leading coefficient of this x is 6. So our horizontal asymptote at y equals to 1 over 6. I wrote here y and then I thought that maybe it will confuse you so I changed it into f of x. So, don't get upset that why I changed my question. Okay, one more question. y equals to 7x uh, is to the power 4 minus 8x square plus 3x minus 1 divided by 
4x to the power 4, 14x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 7, for example. So, again, our degree of the numerator is 4, degree of denominator is 4, both are same. So, our, so our horizontal asymptote will be the leading coefficient of numerator, that is 7, upon the leading coefficient of denominator that is 14. Now simplify them and your answer will be half. So this is how we find the horizontal SM2. Now before we finalized any question, let's understand that if you want to draw the graph of this horizontal SM2. So here you will have the 6. So on the 6, just make a horizontal line. Here 4 over 5, which means that 0 0.8. So if here is the 1, so here 0 0.8, you will make a dotted line. So 1 over 6, it means 0 0.13. Uh, around so again your horizontal asymptote will be somewhere here so just on the on that particular number you just make a dotted horizontal line before sketching the graph and this would make your life so easy while graphing otherwise sometimes the students they make the graph and they cross that line so the teacher just cancel out or just don't deduct the marks or don't give them give the marks because of that reason so understand the concept that while making the graph you should not touch this point because this means that the graph is coming near and and nearer and nearer to that line or to that point but it will never ever hit that point or touch that part of the line thank you very much if you like the video if you understand the concept please don't forget to like the video and send me the comment if you don't uh, if you want to know something more thank you very much see you in the next video